I'm interested in, uh, uh, really interested in art songs because I'm a classical singer. Um, I like songs which kind of negotiate that boundary between Yiddish folk song and, and classical music. I really I find that something that's really interesting to explore and something that that I can do, you know, something that I'm able to do as, as a classical singer who sings Yiddish folk song to be able to present, you know, I guess what you call Yiddish classical repertoire to people in, in a in a recital setting and I I'm inspired to sort of to sing in a recital setting. I was talking to someone about this yesterday because it it allows you the privilege of being able to explain, you know, being able to really engage with an audience and talk to an audience in a way that you maybe wouldn't if you're singing in like a cafe or a restaurant or something that's so a place that's really noisy. Um, I'm inspired by the 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 boundaries and the connections between Chazonus and Yiddish song. I find that really interesting. I'm just inspired by songs which say something, you know, deeper about about what it is that that humans experience. You know, what it is that that, that Jews have experienced throughout history. Um, it's it introduced me to to the genre of conversion ballads, which is you know incredibly interesting. You know that people sang songs about about their children converting, like you know, amazing. You know, every single aspect of. Of, of, of life and experience, you know, documented in this way. Yeah, that, that inspires me. Like, that is my Jewish identity, really. Um, that is my avenue into it, and it's my avenue out of it. It's the way I hope that people kind of see me. It's the way I see myself. You know, being able to express a Jewish identity th through the music. Like, I don't, I don't really approach Jewish identity from a, from a, God-centered perspective, from a faith-centered perspective, but I, you know, I acknowledge that there is a, there is a spiritual or divine element within the songs. But I think that's a human thing. Like I think that's a, you know, pr primarily, it's a human experience to the divine, um, which which you know which you can express in a song.